Moin Moin ihr geilen Schnittchen, herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play The Wolf Among Us, Episode 3, A Crooked Mile. Oh, was heißt The Crooked Mile, das weiß ich gar nicht, aber es ist jetzt auch egal. Ganz überraschend ist für mich am, ähm, ähm, wann ist das, 7., was ist denn das, ne, 8., was ist das denn gestern? Dienstag, Dienstag, genau, am Dienstag, äh... Ja, die dritte Episode veröffentlicht wurde. Ich habe überhaupt nicht das erwartet. Das war plötzlich dann im Steam zum Download verfügbar. Und ja, dann würde ich sagen, starten wir nochmal direkt in die äh, dritte Episode. Das finde ich cool. Nice, nice. Ich hoffe, dass es diesmal länger als eine anderthalb Stunden Episode ist. Äh, schicken wir erstmal ab. So, a crooked mile. Wahrscheinlich irgendwie eine, ja, Meile, klar. Das heißt crooked. Hm, das werde ich mal dann herausfinden müssen irgendwann. Vielleicht schreibt ihr es einfach in die Kommentare, dann lese ich es mir durch. Super, danke schön. So. <lacht> Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa... I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. What is it? <gasps> It's Crane. Oh yeah. So schaut's aus. Crane ist der angebliche Mörder. Ich glaube dem noch nicht so ganz. Vielleicht ist es auch wieder nur eine verwandelte Person. Fucking creep! I'll kill him, this piece of shit. That motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Alarmsäure. Geheimnisse. Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. My God, this story is echt... Verworren. Arg verworren. Bin ich ja mal gespannt, was da jetzt wohl gleich abgeht. The Buckingham Bridge. 10 Uhr 28. Nachts. Notiz. Oh. Okay. 
Das sieht ja schon mal sehr lustig aus hier. Äh, 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 ja. Schön. Alter, das ist ja... Warum sind hier überall Kerzen? Werden die hier vergraben oder was? Unter einer... Scheiß äh, Brücke oder was? What? What the fuck? Okay. That the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for, um, pageantry. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times I'll and I'll miss bad. worrying about I you. Never met Lily. I'll miss our fights. What I've I'll been miss told. you. I know Holy. in my heart that she would hmm. have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our, um... Now you will never die from indifference or lead a tedious life. Goodbye, sweetheart. Thanks for everything. Vivian. So, the uh, Rede scheint vorbei zu sein. Ich wollte Is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie and say you'll check first? Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him but this genuinely wasn't his fault you can't tell me big b gives a shit about this crane's a fucking prick so this doesn't surprise me hey what do you know we actually agree on something big b cares holly he's trying to help and i'm sure he has a very good reason for being here but this one isn't on him why are you here anyway and don't say it's because you care about this everything okay I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly, this is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Okay, schauen wir mal nach, was da jetzt abgeht. This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Crane murdered Lily. What? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I thought, uh... I thought that Crane might be looking for you. Uh, I thought you might be in trouble. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? 
Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. Okay. Ah, vielleicht, vielleicht ist Crane ja auch verwandelt How'd gewesen. How'd it go? At the motel. Did you find anything? No. Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um, coming! Tja. Das ist alles übel. So, jetzt lassen wir die nochmal da ein bisschen rumshakern. Constable. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Oh my have god. To go anywhere. Just sit in your office and we sort of have a few short days. <clears throat> Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Uh-oh. Brother, just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Stop this shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Not making our lives any easier. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Uh-oh. Da, 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 da. Weg mit dem. Oh nein. Boah, diese Tweedledee und Tweedledums, ey. Penner. Wow. Oh. Wo hat der denn die Waffe plötzlich her? Fuck. Okay. Ja, das ist wohl mächtig in die Hose gegangen. So eine Scheiße. Okay. Okay, krasses Intro. Ging gut ab. 
Tschwiedel die und Tschwiedel dumm. Also. Ist echt. Äh, da könnte noch alles passieren in dieser Story. Das ist richtig heftig. Und deswegen bin ich echt gespannt, wie es dann gleich weitergehen wird. Richtig gespannt. Schon cool. So. Jetzt sind wir erstmal, glaube ich, auf die Ver Ver Verfolgung von Tweedledee und Tweedledum, oder? Episode 3. A Crooked Mile. Fable Town Business Office, The Woodland Building, 11.43 Uhr. Ich habe so gut wie ich konnte, die Buckshot zu nehmen, aber es gibt noch ein paar Schaden, die noch in deinem Kopf sind. Sie werden sich irgendwann warm ihren Weg auf ihren eigenen, aber... Until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. Hmm. This is and, uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Taking it easy is not really my thing, Doc. Well, whatever your thing is, Try make it work better for you next time. Super, jetzt können wir nicht mehr kämpfen. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So... To recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but... Do you really think he killed those women? Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ehrlich it's, gesagt. It's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? Na sicher doch. It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that Maybe, in some tiny little bottled-up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? 
I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't it. finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. That's why I'm clear. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. You wait <laughs> an hour trying to fix this fucking thing. And it turns out you can't even finish the job. I tried, all right? It's okay. It's just... Maybe it's around here somewhere. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. Tja, we can't then. depend on the mirror. Just forget it. I'll find him myself. How? We don't know where he went. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. Okay. Suchen wir mal, würde ich sagen. Nach irgendwas. Nach irgendwas. Und das tun wir in der nächsten Folge. Let's play The Wolf Among Us. Haut rein, Freunde. Tschüss, bis morgen.